स्पीड Now, what do we do with these model? The analysis model fit into the general method of solving problem that we describe below. In particular, pay attention to the categorized step in the discussion below. That is where you identify the analysis model to be applied to the problem. After that, problem is solved using equation or equations that you have already learned to be associated with that model. This is the way physicists approach complex situations and complicated problems and break them into manageable pieces. It is an extremely useful skill for you to learn. It may look complicated at first but it will become easier and of second nature as you practice it. Conceptualize. The first thing to do when approaching a problem is to think about and understand the situation. Study carefully any representation of the information for example diagrams graph tables or photograph that accompany the problem imagine a movie running in your mind of what happens in the problem the mental representation if the pictorial representation is not provided you should almost always make a quick drawing of the situation indicate any known values perhaps in a table or directly on your sketch Now focus on what algebraic or numerical information is given in the problem. Carefully read the problem statement looking for key phrases such as starts from rest, vi is equal to 0 that is initial velocity is equal to 0 or stops vf is equal to 0 that is final velocity is equal to 0. Now focus on the expected result of solving the problem. Exactly what is the question asking? Will the final result be numerical, algebraic, or verbal? Do you know what units to expect? Don't forget to incorporate information from your own experiences and common sense. What should a reasonable answer look like? For example, you wouldn't expect to calculate speed of an automobile to be five into ten raised to power six meter per second. After conceptualize we will categorize Once you have a good idea what problem is about you need to simplify the problem use a simplification model to remove the details that are not important to the solution For example model a moving object as a particle if appropriate ignore air resistance or friction between a sliding object and the surface Once the problem is simplified it is important to categorize the problem in one of two ways is it a simple substitution problem such that the numbers can be substituted into a simple equation or a definition if so the problem is likely to be finished when this substitution is done if not you face what we call an analysis problem the situation must be analyzed more deeply to generate an appropriate equation and reach a solution If it is an analysis problem it need to be categorized further have you seen this type of problem before does it fall into the growing list of the types of problem that you have solved previously if so identify any analysis model appropriate for the problem to prepare for the analysis step below being able to classify a problem with an analysis model can make it much easier to lay out a plan to solve it analyze Now you must analyze the problem and strive for a mathematical solution because you have already categorized the problem and identified the analysis model it should not be too difficult to select relevant equations that apply to the type of situation in the problem for example if the problem involves a particle and a constant velocity equation 2.7 is relevant Use algebra and calculus if necessary to solve symbolically for unknown variables in term of what is given. Finally substitute in the appropriate numbers, calculate the result and round it to the proper number of significant figures. 
finalize examine your numerical answer does it have the correct unit does it meet your expectations from your conceptualization of the problem what about the algebraic form of the result does it make sense examine the variables in the problem to see whether the answer would change in a physically meaningful way if the variables were drastically increased or decreased or even became zero looking at limiting cases to see whether they yield the expected values is a very useful way to make sure that you are obtaining reasonable results think about how this problem compared with the others you have solved how was it similar in what critical ways did it differ why was this problem assigned can you figure out what you have learned by doing it if it is a new category of problem be sure you understand it so that you can use it as a model for solving similar problems in the future when solving complex problem you may need to identify a series of sub problems and apply the analysis model approach to each for simple problems you probably don't need this approach when you are trying to solve a problem and you don't know what to do next however remember the steps in the approach and use them as a guide in the rest of this book we will label conceptualize categorize analyze and finalize step in the worked example if a worked example is identified as a substitution problem in the categorize step there will generally not be analyze and finalize section labeled in the solution To show how to apply this approach, we reproduce example 2.4 below with the steps of the approach labeled. Example 2.4: Modeling a runner as a particle. A kinesiologist is studying the biometrics of human body. Kinesiology is the study of the movement of the human body. Notice the connection to the word kinematics. She determines the velocity of the experimental subjects while he runs along a straight line at a constant rate. The kinesiologist starts the stopwatch at the moment the runner passes a given point and stops it after the runner has passed another point 20 meter away. The time interval indicated on the stopwatch is 4 seconds. Part A. What is the runner's velocity? Solution: Conceptualize. We model the runner as a particle because the size of the runner and the movement of the arms and legs are unnecessary details. Categorize. because the problem state that the subject runs at a constant rate we can model him as a particle under constant velocity analyze having identified the model we can use equation 2.6 to find the constant velocity of the runner vx is equal to delta x over delta t which is equal to xf minus xi divided by delta t the final displacement is 20 meter the initial displacement is zero the time interval is 4 second therefore vx is equal to 20 meter minus 0 divided by 4 second giving us the velocity of 5 meter per second part p if the runner continues his motion after the stopwatch is stopped what is his position after 10 seconds have passed solution use equation 2.7 and the velocity found in part a to find the position of the particle at time t is equal to 10 second xf that is the final displacement is equal to xi plus vxt xi the initial displacement is 0 vx we have calculated in part a to be 5 meter per second the time interval that we are considering is 10 second therefore xf is equal to 0 plus 5 meter per second times 10 second giving us the final displacement of 50 meters finalize is the result of part a a reasonable speed for a human yes it is how does it compare to the world record speed in 100 meter and 200 meter sprints the average speed in 100 meter and 200 meter sprint is about 7 meter per second Notice that the value in part B is more than twice that of a 20 meter position at which the stopwatch was stopped. Is this value consistent with the time of 10 second being more than twice the time of 4 second? Yes, it is consistent. 50 meter divided by 20 meter gives a ratio of 2.5, and 10 second divided by 4 second gives a ratio of 2.5. May Allah bless us all. Thank you for watching. Allah Hafiz.